Good evening, everybody. I'm Sayukta, your host for today's live from All About Skin Wellbeing Team. And I'm sure all of you must be keeping good health. Today, we are going to discuss about our skin health with focus on skin allergy, which we or our near and dear ones would have encountered at some point of time in our lives. Skin allergies, also known as allergic dermatitis, occur when the immune system reacts abnormally to certain substances called allergens that come into contact with the skin. Allergies are prevalent in India with a significant number of people experiencing allergic skin conditions. Factors such as pollution, climatic conditions, and exposure to various allergens contribute to the high incidences of skin allergies. Skin allergy symptoms typically include redness, itching, swelling, rashes, blisters, and dry, scaly skin. The severity of symptoms can vary from person to person and may range from mild to severe. In today's digital world, it's a boon or blessing if we can get to hear from an expert dermatologist online about skin allergy and, you know, its types, how we can prevent it, the kind of tests required for its diagnosis, and the right treatment and management approach for an early relief. So today we have with us renowned dermatologist, Dr. Puer Aryaman Singh, who has eight years of experience in the field of dermatology. He has done MD in dermatology, MBBS, and is joining us from Pathan Court, Punjab. He has years of experience in this field, and his skill and compassion have made a tremendous difference in patients' life. A very warm welcome to you, Dr. Kobar Aryaman Singh. Thanks a lot, Ma. It's a pleasure to have you with us, doctor. And today we are talking about skin allergies. And when we talk skin allergies, one thing that comes to mind is that this is very common. It is very common for many people and it is very common. First of all, we would like to know what causes these uh, skin allergies, what all causing factors could be there. There are many factors that cause the skin allergies. It can be based on the like, sunlight exposure can also cause that is hot exposure. Then there is a cold otic area that is due to the cold exposure. Then there is even the allergic contacts, like even in the food allergies, like the contact with the pollens also during the cutting of the season of various uh, fruit and all. And during the various farming seasons also it causes the allergies. Then there is an infective focus also. In pregnancy also, during the seventh day semester, there is a kind of peculiar eruptions that is also known as skin allergy. Then there is very few in that, like the contact urtic area, that is with the contact of cement and all. Various drugs causes the allergies, like the penicillins and the vancomycins, and various other chemotherapies that cause the skin allergies. Even the contact, like when you do the dressing or the plaster after the fractures and all, they are also causing the allergies. And various other factors in day and in and off, like the right. Congress grass, which is a very common, like seen everywhere in the India. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like anything under the sun and even sun can, uh, you know, be yeah, the culprit. The can, can. Right. Uh, doctor, how can I determine the specific allergen that is triggering my skin allergy? Mm. You can determine like if you have a sun exposure and you get the erythema on the body, on the exposed parts. So that is a very common factor that causes allergy due to the sun exposure. Even when you are going in the farm or you are going on the streets, you get contact with the Congress grass or the plants. Then also you can get it touched. Then in routine also, if you are having specific dietary habits and specific diet which you are taking and you get the allergic response, you get the hives on the uh, body or somewhere else, then also it is an allergic form. And if you have a painful erythema, then it is an angioedema kind of allergy. That is not like allergic factor. You don't have the hives or something but you have a swelling that will cause the painful eruptions. So that is a one kind of allergy. And if in routine, if you are feeling that you are having the itching or something, you can just write it down with a pen on your body or with a blunt tip. You don't have to point it or something and you will see the allergic response. Whatever you have written, it will just flare up. That is a real response. Dermatographism, which we do in the common response. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh... A number of factors, as you have already yeah. mentioned, could be responsible for it. And the thing is, doctor, you know, uh, skin allergies are so common. You know, anything which appears on our skin looks like an allergy to us. 
we don't know whether it's exactly an allergy or something else for example just aapne kaha ki kai baar dhoop mein jaane ki wajah se bahut zyada rashes hote hain ya itching hone lagti hai and your edema aapne bataya kai baar urticaria bhi aapne mention kiya wo bhi uh, ek type hai all the types of urticaria only there are two types basically acute and chronic urticaria Mm-hmm. So acute is less than six weeks, and anything that is more than six weeks, which is recurring again and again, is chronic urticaria. These are the two basic classification. Then it can be divided into the spontaneous, physical contact, even the allergic response. Special syndromes are also there, which are commonly seen in the urticaria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Or um, the. सबको एग्जैक्टली नहीं पता होता है कि क्या हमारा ट्रिगर फैक्टर है वॉट वी एज लेमन अंडरस्टैंड कि हमको रैशेस हो रहे हैं हमको बहुत ज्यादा इचिंग हो रही है कई बार जैसे अर्जिकेरिया के केस में होता है कि हमको वो लीजन दिखते हैं फिर कुछ टाइम बाद नहीं दिखते हमको लगता है कि ये शायद ठीक हो गया है तो जो अलग अलग तरह की एलर्जी स्किन पे होती है क्या उसे आप डॉक्टर थोड़ा क्लासीफाई कर सकते हैं फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड बेसिकली more than 50% of the causes is idiopathic idiopathic means there is no specific cause hmm. then 40% is based on the infective focus which we normally rule out but when a layman works out like koi bhi aam aadmi agar kar raha hai to wo normally blood test ki taraf nahi jayega koi bhi aata hai normally ki mujhe urticaria ho gaya mujhe rash hua tha to maine dawai le li medical store pe gaya to cetrazen le li hai ya koi atrax ki tablet kha li hai fexofenadin le li hai even right. many medical stores give the steroids also there is no specific treatment that is given that's why the mm-hmm. people like aam aadmi jo hai agar acute phase mein aayega to it can be cured very easily mm-hmm. basically people are coming in the chronic phase to the doctors so chronic phase mein jab aata hai wo already itni medicines le chuka hota hai ki sab cheeze overlooked ho chuki hoti 90% of the cases which i am seeing in day to day in and out is infective focus they are going to have urine infection hogi urine mein burning hai पर वो उसको ओवरलुक कर रहे हैं वो उसको ध्यान ही नहीं देते हैं कि एलर्जी हो रही है उसके कारण तो दैट इज अ वेरी कॉमन फैक्टर यू गेट हाइव्स इट इज ऑन एंड ऑफ यू टेक सेट्रोजेन देन यू से थ्री फोर डेज में हमें ठीक हो गया उसके बाद वापस हो गया इट इज ऑन एंड ऑफ रिकरन अगेन एंड अगेन अगेन एंड अगेन सो इट इज गिविंग द रेजिस्टेंस टू द ड्रग्स आल्सो एंड इवन योर बॉडी इज बीइंग डैमेज्ड आल्सो बिकॉज़ यू आर टेकिंग द मेडिसिन फॉर कंटीन्यूअस फॉर लाइक आई हैव मेनी पेशेंट दे आर कमिंग आफ्टर 10 इयर्स दैट दे आर टेकिंग 10 इयर्स फॉर सेट्रोजेन एंड ऑल सो they all are causing the issues and there are few common factors like contact like you are wearing the tight belts tight footwear you are wearing the tight socks elastic socks which is commonly used with the layman so they all are putting the pressure that also causes the urticaria kind of thing pressure urticaria mm-hmm. so there right. are various factors in and out right as you very rightly mentioned uh, you know whenever we get an allergy the first thing we do is to go to a chemist shop and get an anti allergen we all are so informed these days plus we know the you know the medicines by name i'm not naming those medicines but yeah people know it by heart plus there's so much of information online there are influencers etc the last thing on our mind is going to a doctor which is really very sad because in india we have so easy access to dermats to you know all kind of doctors we are so enriched in that way lekin hum shayad uska fayda nahi uthate hum ko lagta hai ki chemist shop chale jate hai ek dawai le li hum theek ho gaye hum ko lagta hai bas aaram mil gaya lekin hum ye nahi samajhte hai ki wo hamare liye hi kitna khatarnak hai as you just mentioned many times when we buy over the uh, counter medicine आपने कहा कि हम एंटी एलर्जेंस ले लेते हैं विच हैव देयर ओन साइड इफेक्ट्स अगर उसे ठीक से ना लिया जाए कई बार केमिस्ट स्टेरॉइड्स दे देते हैं उनके भी अपने साइड इफेक्ट्स होते हैं आई थिंक इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस कि किस तरह से ओवर काउंटर मेडिकेशन या यू नो सेल्फ मेडिकेशन कितना हमारे लिए डेंजरस हो सकता है सो डॉक्टर एज यू हैव ऑलरेडी ब्रिंग द यू नो पॉइंट लेट्स डिस्कस इट वी वुड लाइक यू टू शेयर सम मोर लाइक to all of us who are listening ki kyun over the counter medication uh, ya self medication hamare liye khatarnak ho sakta hai especially jab hum skin allergies ya urticaria ke liye jaate hain steroid is the one kind of boon for a treatment of the various conditions in the body but problem with steroids is it has a side effect it has a effects on the kidney also it can lead to the diabetic also diabetes can be induced again in a patient so many of the time the maximum people that are using as the steroids and misuse of steroids is causing the damage with us and many times you use the topical steroids so when you misuse the topical steroid you get the sensitivity of the skin 
so they are using multi drug combinations because maximum in the market is multi drug combination there is no specific like because when you go to the chemist he doesn't know what to give so he gives you the multi drug combination of steroid for the topical combination it will act very good but for the time being like 6 hours 7 hours 1 hour 2 days 3 days then again it is going to effect so people are using it for the continuously and then after getting the photosensitivity or the reactions to the skin allergies so they come back and with anti allergics also if you are using it continuously you will be in a sedative mood maximum people who are coming with the sedations they take the strong sedation dose and they say that we are not getting active we are not actively performing our habits and day in, day in and day out routine so many thing effects like maximum drugs which are going to affect the body is liver or the kidneys so both are the important aspects of the body because right. everything has to be digested through the mouth so people are getting the side effects on that then you get the fatty liver then you get many things else so this is the basic common problem राइट right, तो मतलब हम अपनी एक तरह से कहते हैं ना कि आप क्यों डॉक्टर के पास नहीं गए थे तो कई बार लोग कह देते हैं कि अरे वो बहुत स्टेरॉइड्स देते हैं या बहुत केमिकल्स देते हैं और हम क्या कर रहे हैं हम बिना जाने बिना समझे केमिस्ट्री शॉप से यही इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं एटलीस्ट डॉक्टर्स नो अबाउट आवर मेडिकल कंडीशन दे नो आवर हिस्ट्री दे यू नो एडवाइस द राइट थिंग प्लस दे नो हाउ टू टैपर इट डाउन और आपने बिल्कुल सही कहा कि हमें इन सब का एडिक्शन हो जाता है एंटी एलर्जेंस का भी कई लोगों को एडिक्शन हो जाता है स्टेरॉइड का तो हो ही जाता है इनिशियली हमको लगता है ये तो वंडर क्रीम था देखो मैंने एक क्रीम से अपनी प्रॉब्लम को ठीक कर लिया लेकिन हमें नहीं पता कि वो हमारे ओवरऑल हेल्थ के लिए कितना ज्यादा नुकसानदायक है और इसलिए बहुत जरूरी है कि इनिशियली अगर आपको लग रहा है कि आपने अपने टाइम बचा लिया पैसा बचा लिया एनर्जी बचा ली और स्किन भी बचा ली तो ऐसा नहीं है यू आर एक्चुअली वेस्टिंग एवरीथिंग प्लस यू आर रिस्किंग योर हेल्थ डोंट डू दैट गो टू दी डॉक्टर टू दी राइट पर्सन टू क्वालिफाइड डर्मेटोलॉजिस्ट एट दी वेरी फर्स्ट प्लेस Uh, now, doctor, as uh, we are talking about various skin allergies or uh, tick area, or किस तरह से you know ये हमें तकलीफ पहुंचाता है. Now, for example, if the the right protocol is to go to the doctor at the first place, right? Like, and you have told me that किस तरह से हम लोग जब over the counter medication या self medication करते हैं, तो हमारी body को हमारे various organs को कितना वो harm पहुंचाता है. अगर हम पहले ही step में doctor के पास पहुंच जाए, क्या line of uh, treatment हो सकता है? If you come in the acute phase, then only the uh, like antihistaminics are the first line of treatment. You don't have to go on the very rare drugs or the very immunosuppressive drugs. But when you come in the chronic phase or the chronic urticaria phase, then you have to go on the strong medications also. And the problem with this is, if you are in the chronic phase, you might be with the infective focus. So is it upper respiratory? Is it the urinary tract infection? then you have to treat that also then you have to increase the number of doses of the medicines also because you have to cure the infection focus first then you can go on the resistance or the immunosuppressants or anything else then in very there are various conditions like bullous pemphigoid urticaria is also there with the vesicular bullous lesions which causes the problem then there is the angioedema angioedema is a kind of painful urticaria so when you have the swollen lips around so they give you the even you get the breathless difficulties also due to urticaria so in that conditions it is a kind of complicated condition maybe you have need adv- admissions also in the hospital because without that you cannot be treated it can be a risk for the breath also you can be at like breathless difficulty or something else also oh. so you need to take care of it urticaria is not a very simple thing if it goes with the chronic phases then you are in a complicated phase it can be a dangerous also so we need to be assessed we need to be done with it like when you come in the chronic phase or in the acute phase also we need to get with the investigations like basic cbc is one of the important investigation that can rule out the infective focus then ac is there esr is there thyroid is there even with the liver we have to rule out so that we can give on the medication part then there are various immunosuppressant drugs also steroid is a very simple drug for the urticaria comparative to the immunosuppressive drug so it is very important to go to the doctor in initial phases then going in the later phase and then patient complains that the doctor is giving a costlier prescriptions or something like that it is not the doctor who is giving it is a problem because you have already taken the medicines which has given you the resistance part right 
सो एक तो स्किन एलर्जी या टिकेरिया जो कंडीशन है वो है जो हमें परेशान कर रही है फिर खुद ही हम अपनी परेशानियों को बढ़ा लेते हैं सेल्फ मेडिकेशन या ओवर दी काउंटर मेडिकेशन के साथ और जब तक हम डॉक्टर के पास पहुंचते हैं तो डॉक्टर सिर्फ एक चीज को सही नहीं कर रहे होते हैं उनको बहुत सारी चीजों को देखना होता है प्लस एक रेजिस्टेंस जो हमने उन दवाइयों को लेकर बना ली होती है तो ऐसे में बहुत लंदी हो सकता है ट्रीटमेंट और आप इन सब से बच सकते हैं सिर्फ सबसे पहले डॉक्टर को दिखाना है एज सुन एज यू सी दी सिम्टम्स डॉक्टर अगर सिम्टम्स या साइंस की बात करें व्हाट आर दी साइंस व्हाट आर दी सिम्टम्स ऑफ दी स्किन एलर्जीज और टिक एरिया लाइक एन एक्सपोज पार्ट यू गेट द एरिथमेटिक स्क्रैचेस ऑन द नेक एरिया मोस्ट कॉमनली विद द सन एक्सपोजर यू सी ऑन द नेक और द एक्सपोज पार्ट्स ऑफ द आर्म्स सो दैट इज वन ऑफ द फैक्टर्स देन यू हैव द हाइव ऑन द बॉडी whether the hives are coming immediately whether it is coming on and off every day or six months six hourly 12 hourly with the dietary habit whether you are getting the pre menstrual also very common with the women's as like during the menstrual phases pre menses you get the hives you get the urticarial responses it is also seen when in the pregnancy you get the pup response that is most commonly seen on the abdominal area like you have multiple micro uh, papules which is seen around the umbilicus and all that area so that is very itchy also then you have the swelling on the lips that is a common factor with the angioedema then you can have the fluffiness on the cheeks also then if you are not very aware of that if you are getting on and off response you can just stroke your body with a blunt nib then you can see the hive over there the area which you have stroke so if it is seen you should go to a doctor then if you have the infective focus that has to be evaluated on the uh examination and all then other than that we can go with the biopsies also so various condition which we have to rule out right uh doctor uh, initially you also said that uh, you know it could be due to some allergy or there could be uh, something which is not, not known right just the cause pata hi na chal paaye ki kyun ho raha especially chronic ke, cases yeah. mein hota hai now to find out the allergies or the allergens or uh, my trigger factor what can be done matlab kya patient bhi kuch pattern follow karke kai baar doctor ko batate honge si i had that or my sun exposure was more or i have eaten this or that and that's when i had the rashes uh ya aap bhi kuch is tarah se chalk out karte hain ki ye reason ho sakta hai ye reason ho sakta hai how do you find out the uh, you know probable trigger factor normally if we find out that it is going to be on the basis of the food so we pref i prefer to the patient like they should maintain a diary at least for 6 months everything which they are uh, every day you write a date then you make a chart whatever you are taking in a daily meals you just write it down whenever you get a response to the allergic you just make a tick on the front of that date then you just keep on maintaining the record for like 6 month 3 month 5 month and follow with the doctor when you come over again and again then you can make out what the common factors you have taken in what are the common diets which you have taken and according to that we can go on like this can be a causative factor so then we decrease that diet then we slightly increase with like one spoon two spoon three spoons maybe one is causing maybe the other is causing so we can rule out the drug uh, like dietary habit with us then in solar urticaria if it is coming like with a solar exposure then it can be like with the congress grass or the pollens if you are going to the farm like in north like punjab or somewhere it is very much with the farming so if you are going to the farm and you are getting the response then there is one is allergic contact dermatitis that is due to a kind of urticaria or the eczema you can say when you go with the allergic contact so that is a very common factor in the farming land then with the contact dermatitis like in the pressure dermatitis like wearing tight belts tight jeans tight buckle area there also you get after changing the clothes you get the urticarial response as a wheels and all then you can go with the cold exposures like you went to the high altitude you went to the snow area or anywhere whether in the winters then you get the urticaria even when you take shower you can get the urticaria response nowadays it is very common like the people are taking ice baths they put their face in the ice and they think it is very good for them it is a good procedure but after that also if you are getting the response allergic response or the rashes on the body or the erythema a lot then you should see a doctor whether you are required for that or you should stop it So these are the various factors which we have to see up. 
Right. And um, you also mentioned that, you know, it could be due to some infection if you have UTI or something, yeah. probably that's one of the triggers. We have seen a lot of patients coming up after uh, uh, having COVID, you know, after being COVID positive, saying that I am having, you know, hives on my body or face. Yeah. So there's also a relation. That is one of the common scene with the COVID vaccines also. Yes, yes. तो अगर किसी बीमारी के बाद बच्चों में कई बार होता है किसी बीमारी से वो जूझ रहे होते हैं या इन्फेक्शन या वायरल फीवर समथिंग उसके बाद उनमें भी कई बार अर्टिकेरिया हाइव इस तरह से देखने को मिलती है अर्टिकेरिया और द इवन द वायरल एग्जाम समथिंग लाइक लाइक पेपुलर रिदिमा इज सीन ऑल ओवर द बॉडी इवन द जिम राइट तो जब कोई पेशेंट आता है तो ये रूल आउट करने के लिए भी क्या कुछ टेस्ट आप एडवाइस करते हैं यू कैन डू द एलर्जिक पैच टेस्ट हां यू कैन हैव वेरियस पैचेस यू कैन Just do that. You can have the prick test. There is a rash test. There are various tests for that. We can go on with it. Then you even in the family history of asthma allergy, it is a very common factor that can lead to the allergic rhinitis, allergic cough and cold, because on and off cold and cough can cause a UTI, upper respiratory tract infections. So that is very common with the children, which leads to the urticarial responses also. Right, and that makes it even more important to go and contact a doctor because it's just not about one day. Maybe you are having an anti-allergen and feeling that okay, I'm fine, I'm relieved. So what's the need? But yeah, there could be a medical underlying medical condition. There could be so many other things. So you need to go and uh, contact a qualified dermat for that. Now, doctor, when a person comes to you with such kind of allergies or hives, etc., what's the first thing you do? I mean, you immediately ask for some tests, or you just by clinical investigation you can tell that yeah, this is uh, you know this kind of uh, uh, skin First allergy. First of all, we rule out whether it is the family history of allergic or something, asthma or something, so that we can rule out with the family history. Secondly, we go with the dermographism. That is the stroking on the skin. So, if it is giving the high, whether less than forty-five minutes or more than forty-five minutes, delayed hurting area or the immediate hurting area. So that we do. Then, other than that, the patient himself is getting the hurting area reveals on the body. So he is coming again and again. Then various some history the patient itself gives, like he is having recurrent. If it is recurrent, we should go with the investigations. At least minimal investigation that I prefer is CBC count. With differentials and AC and ESR, and other than that is urine. These are the basic investigation that I prefer. Otherwise, we can go the thyroid, LFTs, and other things also. Then, if it is still recurrent again and again and again and again, the patient is coming, then we should go with the biopsy and all. And if it is NG edema, it is a sure shot that we have to go with the investigation in detail because NG edema is painful. Even there is a arterial vas. Colitis, like the vessel uh, vessel dilate, and the bleeding points are seen over the lower limbs. The red spots you usually see in the patients. That is the kind of arterial vasculitis. Also. Hmm. So it is also painful. As you have already told us, doctor, that uh, you know treatment is there. Treatment options are there. What we need to do is to go and contact the right uh, uh, the doctor at the right, right time as soon as you get the uh, allergies, yeah. etc. But then, uh, at the same time, uh, we can see that you know when it goes in the chronic stage, uh, people who have chronic urticaria, etc. Their uh, question always is that will it ever go away forever? Uh, will I get permanent cure from it? Because they are on medication for a long, long time. You know the treatment is quite lengthy for them. So uh, how much time it normally takes for the chronic one, especially? For the chronic ones, we need to boost up the immunity. We have to go with the multivitamins. We have to go with the zinc tablets. We have to go with the various other factors. Even nowadays, you get the immuno booster kits with the immunoglobulin levels. IG reaction is normally seen, so you get the kit for that. But before going with that, if it is a chronic urticaria case, we should rule out with the investigations because in my practice, I have seen maximum number of patients with the chronic urticaria is having the infective focus. So first and most important is to rule out with the infection. We have to avoid that part. Once the infection is controlled, we have to boost up on the immunity. So boosting up the immunity with the multivitamins and the tonics it takes around six months. So that is the most important factor which is going to play. The patient has to comply for that. Normally, patient is like, I got response. I am fine with it. My infection is controlled. I am not getting the allergic response. Then again, he comes after six months, five months, ten months. That again, I am having the things. So these are the basic conditions which follow. Okay, 
Now, uh, do the patient need to avoid certain activities or environments to prevent flaring up of uh, hives or urticaria? No, it is not required actually, but what is causing the urticaria is important. Mm -hmm. Whether it is a pressure, whether it is a contact, whether it is a physical, like in the labor class, it is very common with the semen contact. So in the sun exposure, people like farmers or someone, they have the sun exposure. Even in the people working on the streets, they have the sun exposure. Even with the people who are going to pluck the fruits from the trees, they have due to the reaction with the pluck, contacting with the fruit trees or the pollens or something else. So we have to rule out what is causing the factor. What is the common factor that is causing? Whether it is diet, whether it is a contact, whether it is a physical, whether it is a pressure, whether it is solar, what kind of urticaria is causing that? Thing? Whether it is infective, whether it is a drug intake. One of the common drugs is aspirin, which has been given in, in and out for the hypertension and tummy. But that also can lead to the urticarial response. That is also one of the drugs for the urticaria. So we have to be very careful that what is causing, causing urticaria. We have to diagnose but before diagnosis, we have to evaluate the patient completely. Right. And uh, because, you know, initially we were talking that how some foods can, you know, uh, give you allergies or how some people are allergic to certain food items or medications, etc. Uh, now the thing is, if, talk, uh, if we are talking about okay. food allergies, then um, what are the common foods in general, which, you know, are uh, more responsible for skin allergies, etc. And um, is it important for everyone to avoid those or just who have that particular allergy from those food items? In my practice, I don't really ask the patient to avoid the food, hab food habit. I prefer them to make a dietary monitoring. So when they monitor the diet, they themselves tell them like, which is causing the food habits. Most commonly, if we go with the food habit, nowadays there is a mixing of the foods. There is a lot of mixing in the food products. And most of the food products are being manufactured with the chemicals like urea and other things also. So they are having various complications with that. So the thing is, like fruits, vegetables, which are having the seeds, they are one of the common factors because many things are being produced with the injectables. Mm -hmm. They try to produce it, they try to gain their popularity and size is increased and the money is increased. So people are doing like that. So these are the various factors. So I would prefer or I would recommend the person should have a dietary monitoring. Then you should leave the fruits or the anything that you're taking in and out. The most common factor is like we go on the street for the food eating and something else. We take the Chinese food. We take the other things. We mm -hmm. take the spicy foods. Everything that is being made, they have the color products also. Right. So color products which are being used is one of the common factor for the allergic response. So you have to be very aware with it. Then dietary is like milk products is very common. Like you go with the curd also, milk is also, milk products also. So they are one of the common factors. Then in dal also you can take, like moong dal is very common. We take in and out. So that is also causing in some people. So we need to be, like we cannot leave everything. Because if mm -hmm. I tell every person that everything is causing, the person will start leaving the things. Even many are tea totalers. So even mm -hmm. with the tea also, you can get the response. So I don't suggest that you should leave. I would recommend that you should maintain a record. You should tell a doctor, then doctor will advise you. You maintain a record, you come away again after three months, one month, six months with that record. You Until that time, you can have an antihistamine tablets on and off. Like Maybe you are getting a response in 10 days. You are getting the allergic response in 10 days. So you take one tablet in 10 days. But mm -hmm. when you maintain the record for like three months, six months, that is a very good procedure to cure the disease from the baseline. And then you can go with the immunity parts. Fair enough. And uh, what people are doing these days, doctor, it's a trending thing again. Uh, because they know that there are so many allergy tests happening. They won't go to the yeah. doctor first. They'll go to the lab first, get the test done, and right. then go to the doctor and say, see, I'm allergic to 50 food items. So right. what to do? You can't omit 50 food items from your thali. You know, that's not... I don't ask them to leave the 50 products. I again tell them that you make a dietary record. Because right. But then uh, are... going to, uh, for those, uh, you know, food allergy tests by themselves, is it a good thing or we should go by what the doctor is asking us? It should us not to? be done. 
you directly go and you get the test done it is a lab which is getting it done and without a prescription it is very possible in india that you go directly and you get the test done because it is a costly test everyone wants to do it at that <laughs> so it is better you avoid the test until it is required because once you get in with the allergic test then you should go with the patch testing also mm. that can be seen after 72 hours 24 hours 48 hours so according to that we can also diagnose that what is the allergy even many thing like lead in contact is very common so lead is one of the common factor for the allergic response also so we need to be evaluated we cannot do like whatever we do whatever we do directly on the lab on all the test we have done again we are coming like i am i have left all these things still i am getting the allergy it is not necessary what you are getting in the test maybe after that also you are getting the allergic response many people come with the question that i am around 60 years of age i am eating same thing since life long and now i am getting a response and if we suggest them then they are like i am eating the same thing but the thing is what purity you used to get up before 40 years 30 years 20 years it is not possible right now you yeah. cannot you are not making manufacturing everything at home so you have to be aware that it can also lead to responses because many things are commonly coming like dal comes from like 20 vendors what kind of dal you are having before what kind of you are having now what is the response you are getting what fruit you are getting in the market what you used to get back what vegetable you are getting how it is prepared whether it is chemical prepared whether it is a uh, herbal or whether it is how it is done so it has to be needed noted down you should not leave the products until the doctor is advising you you should no not go with the investigations right because so i think yeah every investigation is costly so maybe you don't require the investigation so why you want to spend around 4 5000 10000 20000 it is not required right exactly it is not uh, required that's not relevant so please don't go that way go to the doctor follow your doctor trust your doctor that's really important and why i'm uh, you know uh, emphasizing on this word trust is because doctor what happens especially with uh, you know people who have chronic urticaria or something now what they do uh, for example they went to you you have given them initial 3 months of uh, medication they'll uh, do the medication for one one and a half month and as soon as they find the relief they'll stop they won't even inform the doctor they'll stop the medication all by themselves again when they'll have those symptoms because they have the prescription now they'll again go get the medicines and start self medicating themselves without even keeping the doctor in the loop i'm sure it happens with you as well you have seen mm-hmm. your patients doing the same Uh, they'll never you know uh, they'll follow up thing is not very much in uh, business these days right people are not very much into follow they feel that okay i'm fine i don't need it anymore or else i have the prescription anyways so what's your take on that follow up basically it depends on the counseling of the patient if you have counseled the patient that you have to follow up for like 3 months 6 months you need to be very clear with the patient that if you are going to take the treatment you have to come for the follow up you have to tell him on the first stage that it is going to take time normally i prefer to tell the patient that it is going to take time you have to come up if you are not going to come up it won't go you may get cured in one week but that doesn't mean you are cured from the root cause so you have to come for the follow up many people are doing like that because medicines are costly because when the patient comes to you it is already the chronic phase so you have to go on the multiple aspects to treat so patient feels it is very costly maybe now what the problem is what you are treating at this moment maybe after one month two months when he is cured he stopped the medications again he developed the same problems maybe it is due to some other cause so during that time when he takes the medicine then also after one month two months 15 days he comes back to a doctor then he says i am not getting cured with the same medicines then why are you taking that medicines that is the important thing na the person is taking the medicine same medicine again and again but he is not getting cured so maybe the root cause is different again so you should visit a doctor maybe your money will be less spent hmm. otherwise you are spending more but you think you are saving the money of the prescription from a doctor so you are spending on the other parts but that is will one day it will go again like at a higher cost so you should go in a first respect only right so please uh, follow your doctor trust your doctor that's very important i'll quickly take some of the questions that our uh, viewers have asked 
So Shania Sain has here, her question is, are there any alternative or complementary treatments I can consider for managing my skin allergies? Again, a very common thing with people. You know, they love trying various things and experimenting. But what kind of allergy she is having? Is it the contact with some drugs? Is it she is having with the sun exposure? Is it like she is having with the allergic response or something intake? What kind of allergy she is having? It depends on what she has to do. If it is sun exposure, you have to take sun protection. Maybe you have to wear the hats if it is a very commonly on and off scene. Maybe it is a dry allergy that you are getting the dry skin and all due to the humid weather or you are having less of water intake. Then you have to moisturize your skin. Maybe you are having the pressure area allergy that is due to some pressure or the tight belts, tight socks or shoes. So you have to avoid that. What is sometimes you get the allergic response to the synthetic contacts also, so you have to go under. Uh, you have to overlook with that also. Many things are there, and if person is not willing at the first aspect, there are the antihistaminic topical lotions. That patient should try instead of taking the medications or the steroids or the topical, any other things. There are many antihistaminic lotions in the market nowadays. You can just go on. You can just try with it. If you are not getting cured, you should go with the doctor. You should consult the doctor and take the proper treatment. You should not be trying anything else. So right. this is the basic takeaway. Exactly. We are ultimately risking our health only by doing experiments. Don't experiment with yourself. Don't experiment with your skin. Just go uh, to a qualified dermatologist. They'll help you find out the solution They because they know, you know, about your skin, about your conditions, etc. Uh, now the thing is, doctor, uh, many times people with urticaria will complain that, uh, you know, their uh, uh, urticarial rashes or their itching get worse during nights or uh, they feel very tired and fatigued. Again, is this a very uh, common thing with patients uh, who have urticarial rashes? Right. Tired and fatigueness is one of the common factors with the infective focus. That is the most common factor within it. Even in the swelling in the body can be seen. So that is one. If it is only on the dietary habits, it can be seen in the night. Maybe you are having a specific kind of diet in the night. So it is one of the common factor with that. Maybe it is due to the weather area. Like if you are in the hot weather or in the cold weather, how you are having a dietary habit. Maybe due to that also. So maybe in the liver function test, if it is abnormal, maybe a thyroid profile you have a dryness mm -hmm. of the body, dry skin area, then also you get. So these are the various factors which are playing with it. Right. And again, because we can uh, imagine what plight they go through, right? They are continuously itching. They are not socializing. They feel embarrassed to go out in public. And uh, definitely they are into so much of stress. Is this stress going to aggravate their uh, urticaria or hives? Right. Stress decreases the immunity part. Yeah. Stress plays a role with the immunity. So it is already going to trigger out the articular reactions. So we have and, to be very clear with that. And if it you can, looks like a vicious uh, cycle to me, you know, stress um, uh, giving birth to uh, urticaria, urticaria, yeah. uh, exaggerating your uh, stress. Yeah. Yes. Right. And so to break that vicious cycle, you need to go and consult a doctor. That's the only right. option we have. And doctor, before we sum up the whole session, uh, what would be your take home message for our viewers? You should must visit the doctor if you are getting it again and again. If you want to try with it, just go with the antihistaminic topical lotion or the sunscreen or the moisturizers. Don't play with the drugs because once you play with the drug and you go to a doctor, it is more complicated to treat a patient. And when you get treated with that things, then it is a lot of prescription. Then you complain that the doctor is very costly. So it is better don't go on the overlying or the off-the-counter medications consult a doctor, take a proper medications. You want to do it, just see what is causing a urticaria. Whether you're getting a reaction again and again with the sun exposure, you're getting with the pressure, you're getting with the contact, you're getting angioedema, you're getting painful lesions, whether you're getting the breathless difficulties, whatever you're getting. You can monitor the dietary habits. You can make a diet chart. If you don't want to make a diet chart, just see that you are getting the urticaria response. What diet you had the last night? Like you are getting in the morning, you should evaluate what you had in the night. If you're getting in the night time, immediately after the meals, before the meals, if you're getting before the menses, pre-menstrual, you're getting, 
what kind of vertigo you can getting or whatever you are seeing whether you are getting in contact with something whether you are getting in food habits fruits vegetables just evaluate don't try with the medications my only say is don't try and waste the medication i would recommend if you are wasting the medication it will cause a resistance and there are no lot, not a lot of drugs which are playing with the urticaria so then once you get with the resistant part of the drugs then it is a no cure for urticaria it will be a complicated part in the future to come right thank you so very much dr kuwar arman singh for your valuable time it has been a very informative session for our viewers and i'm sure they'll use this information to prevent themselves and their near and dear ones from getting you know any kind of skin allergies or urticaria in case they get to see such symptoms at least now they know that instead of self medication or going for over the counter medication you need to go and contact a nearby qualified dermatologist thank you right. we really look forward for uh, many more sessions with you in coming times thank you most welcome thank you thank you doctor and viewers thank you for your active participation in today's session and to get latest updates on how to keep your skin healthy do like and follow our fb page all about skin well being we are also available on youtube twitter and instagram thank you have a good day ahead